Hey everybody, today is the last video in the back to school series. Um, today is just a tutorial for a little bit of a more amped up eye look. Um, I don't know about you guys, but Fridays for me are like what I look forward to during the week. Friday is a day when you're done with classes or you're done with school, you're leading into the weekend. And I just am always excited to wake up on Friday and like do my makeup and look cute and so on Fridays I always amp up my makeup and do something a little bit more fancy than I would on any other day of the week. So that's why I named this Fancy Friday. It's still neutral colors from the Naked 2 palette. It's just kind of deepening up the crease and the outer corner making it a little more um, fancy I guess. And I also find this is really useful on Fridays because Fridays are days when I go out with my friends or something or we go out to dinner or something after classes later on and this is a way for me to already have my makeup done and maybe just to touch up maybe um, add a little more mascara or some false lashes or to just touch up my face makeup um, so yeah I really like this look for Friday if you want to see how to get this look then please keep watching okay so I already put on my foundation which I chose the Revlon color stay whip foundation I really really like this it really does last all day um, and I have really oily skin, so that's saying something. And then to save you guys the trouble of seeing it again, the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind um, concealer. And then I already went and filled in my brows with my Revlon Brow Fantasy. So, like I mentioned, today I'm going to be using my Naked 2 palette. First, I'm going to take this color Booty Call right here. It's kind of a nice shimmery highlight color. I'm just using a Sigma Crease E47 brush. Just gonna get a little bit on there. I'm gonna do my brow highlight real quick. I'm also gonna use the same brush in the same color to do some inner corner highlighting. I really like this brush for the inner corner. I know it's labeled as a crease brush, but you don't always have to use them for what they're labeled as. I feel like this is a really soft brush and it's really flexible. So it can get in and around that inner corner and not be too harsh on my skin. Then I'm going to go into this color Verve right here. It's kind of like a silvery gray taupey color. It's metallic. I'm going to use a Sigma E55 shading brush. I'm just going to get this on the brush. I'm just going to start packing this onto my lid. Some of these colors, especially the shimmery ones, can have some fallout. So instead of sweeping it over and getting a whole bunch of fallout on your cheekbone, if you just press it in, that kind of prevents the fallout from happening. Then I'm just going to take an angled brush, it's an E70 by Sigma, and go into YDK, which is the color right next to Verve, it's right here. This is more of a coppery bronze shimmery color. I don't really know how to describe this one. Um, I'm just going to get this on the brush. I'm just going to push this into the crease as well. This is going to look pretty harsh. It's going to be a harsh line, but we're going to blend it out. So no worries. And then before I blend all that in, I'm going to go into this color snake bite right here. It's a little bit more of a brownie kind of shimmery color and I'm just taking a Sigma E56, it's a shader, I'm going to use this on the outer corner. Like I said, you don't have to always go by what the brush is labeled as. So I'm just going to push this into the outer corner here. And go slightly up into the crease where we have the YDK color. And then before moving on, just kind of wiggle this back and forth between where we have Verve and snake bite it'll kind of blend it in together and not be like a harsh line where one starts and the other ends. Okay now we're going to start blending and I'm just using my E25 blending brush by Sigma. I love these. They're so fluffy and they just work really well to blend. I'm just going to blend out that color that's in our crease Make it a nice gradient going upwards and then just make sure you do this part right here as well where the snake bite is. 
<laughs> that sounds kind of funny. Where your snake bite is. I would hope I would never get bitten by a snake. Snakes freak me out. And I'm just going to take this color Foxy. Um, it's just like a kind of cream matte color. I'm just going to take that blending brush, dip it in a little bit, and kind of use this as a transition between the um, brow highlight and where the crease color ends. For my eyeliner, I'm using my Ico Skinny Eyeliner. I love this. It's super pigmented. It's just a black liner. I know you guys have seen me use this before. I'm just trying to do a really thin line. Um, it's so hard to stay in frame when I do this. I'm just gonna curl my lashes really quick. Then use my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. If I can get it open. <laughs> just do a couple coats on the upper lashes and then just kind of define the lower lashes. Now, since this is something that I would just wear during the day, during school or work or something, I'm not really deepening it up under the eye. If you want to, if you want to add it when you're going out or for an evening or um, if you want to wear this during the day and then add the some liner underneath, I would use the Snake Bite or YDK just to kind of um, darken that up. Or if you want to add false lashes, that's fine too. Um, anything to kind of maybe change it from daytime to nighttime. Okay, and per usual, I'm just going to use my... NYC Sunny Bronzer and a Sonia Kashuk big fluffy brush. Just add some color to my face here. I love this bronzer. I really cannot say enough good things about this bronzer. For blush, I'm going to use Max Fleet Fast. It's like a nice coral color. It's a little deeper than some corals. I'm just going to Kind of push this onto my cheek and then move upward. And this is a Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush. I don't want to have this too dark because the eyes are kind of heavy or heavier than normal, even though they're neutral. And then for the lips, I'm using NYX's Sugar Pie. This is just a nice kind of nude, neutral color. Don't want to overdo the lips since the eyes are darker. And that's it for the face. Okay, and here's the finished product for a little fancy Friday makeup. It's still neutral. A lot of the colors in the Naked 2 palette are neutral. It's just kind of warming them up, going a little bit fancier, I think, metallics and really deepening the crease in the outer corner. Like I said before, this is the last look in the Back to School series. I had a lot of fun making these videos, kind of going through my collection and realizing what I really do wear on a daily basis during school or work um, and it was just nice to kind of do tutorials for a week it kept me on pace and it was fun so um, look out tomorrow for the giveaway video I was gonna add it to this but I figured it would just be too long so there will be a giveaway video tomorrow so look for that it'll be a whole back to school kit for you so I hope you guys enjoyed this and this series and I will talk to you soon bye